let us now get into the first topic of this session today as we have said we will be looking at the various people who are involved in decision making and strategic formulation in general every manager is a strategist we call every manager as a strategist the reason for this is that every manager in order to improve his performance and his team's performance comes out with new strategies or different strategies every day during the operation of that particular department so we call every manager as a strategist but apart from that we also have have identified nine different groups of people or individuals who are said to be the strategists these nine different individuals or groups of people are constantly involved in crafting formulation designing and developing strategies on a regular basis let us now look at the individual persons or the groups of people who are a part of this nine strategist team the first of them is the consultants like for example mckenzie is one of the groups which do consulting a fugerson is another group that does consulting now especially the consultants are required for small and medium sized companies in the case of big companies they have the internal departments they have the internal people who can formulate and design and develop strategies whereas in the case of small and mid sized companies it becomes very difficult for them to adopt or appoint people who are known as strategists hence they provide the strategy making decision to a consultancy agency like mckinsey or fugerson so what these people do is that they formulate a particular strategy based on the needs of the organization based on the requirements of the organization based on the situation of the organizing the current performance of the organization and they provide the strategy to the organization they also help in the proper implementation of this particular strategy and they also help help in control measures and also in evaluating this particular strategy so that they can come out with better strategies in future apart from this entrepreneurs are also considered as strategies as far as entrepreneurs are concerned we can call kiran mujumdar who is now heading biocon as one of the best entrepreneurs or best strategists as far as an entrepreneur is concerned she she started biocon and today the group has grown very very big in 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 karnataka it has become a very very big group all over india biocon is a well known name and kim majumdar shah is also a well known name as an entrepreneur she was a strategist she took a lot of strategic decisions in order to improve the performance of the organization in order to grow the organization very quickly in a very short span of time board of directors are also called as the strategists because the directors take decision they formulate strategies they take a decision as to what are the important aspects that the organization requires they look into various aspects the the financial aspect the research aspect the marketing aspects and they take a proper decision based on the current situation that they are into and what the situation that they want to move into that is the existing result or existing situation to a desired situation in future so board of directors are also called as one of the strategists because they take strategic decisions and they implement or have the employees implement these strategic decisions apart from that the ceo of the organization himself becomes a very big strategist because it is the ceo who provides good strategies for the organization in the in the case of in the case of infosys though they had a team of people but narayan murthy has been a very good strategist in order to bring infosys to such a level that it is there today from five people organization today this particular organization has become one of the indian multinational organization senior management level people are also strategists because they keep looking out they keep formulating strategies on a regular basis they are also asked to come out with different strategies in order to improve the performance of the organization apart from the senior manager level the corporate planning staff it helps in motivating the corporate planning staff now they are also involved into decision making they are also involved into strategies now in in the case of an administration department the admin manager is involved into strategic management or is involved in formulating or coming out with a proper strategy as far as the administration of the organization is concerned strategic business unit level uh, staffs or executives now this concept 
of strategic business unit level that is SBUs has started in many of the companies where they become each SBUs become a profit center and it is headed by a particular person and the entire business unit has to come out with proper strategies in order to help the organization move forward and grow and grow forward. And apart from this, middle level managers and executive assistants are also one of these strategies because they are also involved in implementing or crafting or designing and developing certain strategies which would help the organization to improve its overall performance. So it is very, very important to understand the role of these nine people who are basically strategies. Apart from this, we always call the managers or generally any manager in an organization is a strategist for that particular organization for the performance of that particular organization because he takes decision he makes decision in order to improve the performance of the organization.